Well, 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 it's been a moment or two since I've done something relatively hard in Geometry Dash, so I figured it's time. Let's do an insane demon, an insane demon that I've always wanted to do. It's called Firewall by Heinz. Heinz, if you don't know who he is, which I, if you're watching this video, you probably know who Heinz is. He's made a lot of really fantastic levels. Heinz is a great level creator that makes a lot of demon levels that have absolutely, mwah, absolutely beautiful gameplay. Heinz levels are so fun to play. They're pretty difficult, like a lot of the best Heinz levels are all like hard demon difficulty or more, but they are, they're so fun to learn and they flow so well together. This level right here, Firewall, is actually one of my favorite Heinz levels that I've practiced. I mean, there's a lot of really good Heinz levels. I've played a couple really good ones as well. But Firewall, I just, there's something about it I really enjoy. Let's just go into it. I might have to jump into practice mode again. So this beginning part is just a bunch of triples, but they're not like full triples. But I still died because I'm dumb. But I have this really nasty habit of trying to jump really late. Wow, I suck. I have this really nasty habit of trying to jump really late, even though you don't have to. And if you jump too late, you can die sometimes on these. You can jump nice and early, but not that early. Care, don't, I think I'm overcompensating. I'm like trying to show you guys that jumping early is better than jumping late. And I'm jumping really early. Damn, that was late. That was late. Or we'll get this beginning part on lockdown sometime soon. We'll get like 80% consistency at it. That's, whoa, that was a late jump. You can't jump too late. You gotta jump into this portal. Boom, you jump into it. That's pretty cool. This ball part is one of the harder parts of the level. Not really. I mean, the beginning of the ball part is, but that's pretty tight. Some of these timings in the ball part are bananas. Once I can consistently get through the ball part, though, like once I've thrown myself at this level enough, I think we'll do the level. I did in practice earlier today. I did like a 45 to 100% run. So I'm pretty sure we'll do it. Um, after the ball part, there's like this cube part or square. So I mean, it's a 2D game, right? There's a square part that's pretty tough. It's got some really hard timings. And I would even say that the square part might even be the hardest part of the level. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Those are hard right there. But I did it. Oh yeah, we're going, we're flying. You, oh my god, I, I jumped out too early. See, the really hard part about that is when you're in that one block gap, you have to jump extremely late, and then you have to hit that blue jump ring very late to be able to survive. It's like this double timing, which is really hard. Yeah, see that? Those ball timings at the beginning are really hard. Like the first three ball inputs. Yeah, those are really tight. My goodness, those are tight. And then after, it's kind of chill. Except for that. That wasn't so chill. Come on, let's do this. Come on. See, all these, all these square timings. Like this part right here, when you jump up and hit that blue jump ring, you can't just hold down the button and jump because the spike will kill you. It's like, you don't just like jump, hit it and hold down. It's like you go tap, 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 tap. And you like got to wait these like little split second timings. It's weird, man. This square part is weird, but it's cool once you get it. It's unique. And when you get through it, you're like, ah, oh, yeah, that's really neat, right? I like... I like how it's timed. It's just hard. The beginning of the level is definitely harder than the end of the level. So most of my deaths are going to be like at the beginning ball part and that square part. Most of my deaths for sure. It's just a matter of like, just got to squeeze past these parts and we'll be good. God, <laughs> those are so tight. Whoa, we did it. Here we go. What? I died? That's like the easiest wave in the level. After that part, like the last 40%, 
there's not many hard parts. Like, there's a few square parts, but the timings are so easy compared to the square parts at the beginning. Maybe I would have died to a future wave part. There's a couple wave parts that I maybe would have died to. But I'm pretty confident after this, like, we could have done it. Ah, oh, that sucks. That's a, that's a weak death. You know, that's, it's just weak. That was excellent progress, though. I mean, I can't complain. Oh, man. Yeah, now I'm just dying, like, over and over again to the ball parts. <laughs> God. The beginning is so hard compared to the end. See? Did I hit that blue jump ring extreme, like, pretty late, right? But I still died coming down. Isn't that nuts? You gotta hit it even later than that. Oh no, what? That's such pull. I told you guys, as soon as you get past the beginning consistently, like, you can get near the end. But I- unbelievable! How did I jump too early there? I must have just barely jumped too early. That felt like a good jump. It felt like I was going. I thought I had it. I was so comfortable. Like, after I got to the last square part, I was like, yeah. I got this. I jumped too early. That's just... Well, that's something else. Oh my god. Oh my god. Back to the early game grind again. Let's go. Let's go back to the beginning of the level grind. was a long haul. This took me almost two hours. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe we did it. And we ended on 144 attempts. For 144 hertz represent. Oh, okay, this is the hardest level I've done in a long time. And it was quite a struggle. I was... I was freaking out! I was freaking out, man! I was going crazy! The beginning of this level was driving me nuts. There were parts, like, I was dying, like, 60 to 70% of my deaths to the ball part at the beginning. I'm so happy we did this. I've wanted to do this level for a long time. I actually started practicing this level, like, months ago, and then I put it on the back burner. So I have quite a few attempts, because I, I came back to it yesterday, started practicing. 2,000 attempts, like, 1,300 of these are from, like, months, many months ago. 
maybe even over a year ago. I don't know. I've wanted to do this level for a while. Oh, Firewall Behinds. It's a really cool level. I, I The ball part at the beginning, though, is really frustrating. But I think all the parts after, even the square part that's pretty difficult after the ball part, uh, I really like the way that flows. It's It's tough. But I was getting really consistent with it, going through there all the time. It's hard, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, the ball part at the beginning, though, was hard, and I did not enjoy it at all. I think that's the only part of the level I don't enjoy. All the other parts are superb and amazing Heinz gameplay. Heinz gameplay is so good. Love the way, love the way this level flows. It's such a beauty to play once you get past the ball part, but you gotta get past the ball part! Ball part pisses me off! All right, big thumbs up. Certainly is an insane demon. 100% agree with that. It's a perfect rating. It's not a super hard insane demon. It's not an easy insane. It's just, it's just a normal, just run of the mill insane demon. My God, is it good though. Maybe one day I'll beat all of Heinz's levels. I know that Heinz's hardest level is called Cyber Chaos. And Cyber Chaos is a level that I'd always wanted to do right here. And Cyber Chaos is a hard insane demon though. Yeah, that's probably gonna wreck me. But it is on the list of demons to do. And now that I have beaten this level, maybe we'll move on to Cyber Chaos sometime in the near future. This was fun to do. I was getting frustrated a little bit, but I think that's just the nature of the game. It's just the nature of Geometry Dash. I, I mean, there are people that play this game that don't get frustrated. They're just stoic, just... Mm, yeah. Oh, I died there, yeah. Died to 95. That's okay, I'll get it next time, yeah. <laughs> And I don't get it. I don't understand that at all because I'm 100% not like that. I I just tilt. I tilt. I get frustrated at myself first. I go, Eric, you dummy, you gotta do that. And then I start looking for reasons why it's not my fault. And I do this weird psychological, I don't know, this loop. And then I go back to, no, Eric, it's your fault. You gotta become better as a player. And then, oh, this part's janky. <laughs> this weird loop I go through. But we did it. Anyways, leave a like for my troubles. Please, leave a like for my troubles. I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, peace.